good morning or for me <laughs> whenever you're watching this good evening good afternoon and welcome to the pre-podcast series of the productive introvert community podcast so i'm mariella franker if you haven't uh, seen me before um and i am doing something really brave at least i think it's really brave <laughs> And I'm sharing my process with you as I'm building my podcast um, that's coming out in July. So that's going pretty fast. Um, and I need to take a moment to regroup because there's a lot going on. And I'm pretty sure that a lot of you will recognize that, you know, doing all different things, like juggling all those balls, sometimes spreading ourselves a little too thin. So um, this time I thought I'd just take you th through my process that I do in the morning to kind of um, refocus, especially when you have a lot of different things going on. So the, the first thing I do is I come to my office. This is my office. Um, since we're on video, I can show you. It's my um, little cabin office. It's at the end of my garden. And I love to come here to, to work and to just, you know, collect my thoughts and, and do a couple of hours of deep work. And I make coffee. Um, and I sit out here, if the weather permits, to just kind of think about the things that I'm working on. And I like to use this little guy. It's a little manual recorder. Um, and I record myself on this. And I, I listen back to whatever it is that I recorded the, the last time I worked. Maybe it wasn't yesterday. Maybe it was a couple of days ago. Because sometimes, um, well, you know, I don't always work every day. I only work about 24 hours a week on my business. So... Sometimes there's quite a, a bit of a lag between uh, my working days. And this really helps me to kind of really fast go back to um, what I was working on before and what I should do now. I call that leaving a thread. Leave a thread for yourself. Um, so when you stop working, just make a little note. What's the next step for me to take? I like to do that in audio, but you can, of course, use your notebook. I have a couple of notebooks that I carry around uh, for different things. I make notes in those or digitally on your phone, whatever um, works best for you. So regrouping. Um, right now, a lot of things are going on. Uh, preparing for a wedding uh, from very close uh, from family. And um, we're going to have some house guests over next week. So we're preparing some things in the house around that. Uh, then there's, of course, the podcast I'm working on, other things in my business that are still going on. Uh, and uh, like I said, I work 24 hours, so I split my time between working and just family time, spending a lot of time with our, our son. So kind of parking all the other things right now. I have three and a half weeks left, so I have to make them count. And I I used, I made this little schedule of things that I wanted to do, um, recordings that I'm gonna make, and I'm pretty well on track. I only skipped, I think I skipped one that I'm gonna do today. And instead of doing that, I I did some, um, some remodeling in the house. So I still feel like I did really, productive thing but even if I hadn't done anything it's okay sometimes you need to take a rest this is what this week's look, this week looks like it's pretty empty so that's seems like it's doable right and I plan all these things out so that I know um I can kind of spread it out and not take on too much in one go uh it's taken me a, a little bit of time to get through to this kind of planning ahead in the beginning it was more like spontaneous and at hop, which is also quite nice. Um, but I'm happy that I'm kind of getting to this, this in between and growing towards more towards a little bit more planning. I don't plan my topics per se because uh, I like to do that quite um, naturally and, uh, you know, whatever's going on at the moment. I'm not planning too many topics yet. I may do it in the future, you know, things to change. Uh, but for now, this works really well. So what I do is I sit here and I kind of look over the things that I, that I have on my list. And I have about three to four hours a day that I work. 
realistically, there's not that much you can do in a day. Um, we tend to make a list of at least like 10 things. Sometimes if you're really good, like let's just put five or three things on there. In my personal experience, it actually works best to just focus on one. What's the one thing um, that would make the biggest impact if I did that today? For me, it's recording one of these episodes. So I'm doing that. This is the first thing I'm doing, even as I'm still having my like my morning coffee. Um, because I'm just sharing my process with you. It's quite, I can, I can also do it that way. And some days, um, it's actually, I kind of catch up all of the little things that I got left behind. Um, today's Monday. And Monday is the day for me, I work in a bit of theme days. So I think I'm throwing too much information at you, but bear with me. So on Monday, uh, for me, it's, it's all about good vibes. It's a good vibes day, they call it. And it's all about doing the things that around marketing for my business. Obviously, the podcast falls into that category and recording this episode falls into that category. And I'll also... Uh, catch up on emails that people have sent me, uh, lovely messages that I get. Uh, and I'll, I'll do a little social round on, on social media. And I spend about half an hour to an hour doing that. So that's my day today. Um, yeah. And of course, there's so many things on the list around the podcast um, that I could pick up. But I'm actually just going to, I'm just going to park that too. Because for today, this is what's most important. All right. Thank you. And uh, see you soon. Oh. Things are a bit different on my phone. Why is this not working? Move button. Okay. End meeting. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye.